And we are back here at Shamrock Fighting Championships as we go to our heavyweight division. It is Troy DePriest taking on Thomas Thurber. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out our next bout of the evening. Troy DePriest. Coming to the cage tonight, it is Troy DeBriest. He comes to us by way of Kansas City, Missouri. He is a hometown boy. Now, he grew up in the world of boxing and has extremely heavy hands. So he told me that he worked heavily on his hands for this fight. He calls himself a knockout artist, and he is looking to do that this evening. He is a big fan of the punches and bunches and likes to throw it and he has very, very heavy hands with knockout power in both of them. Yeah, you got to watch out every second of this fight. There could be a knockout with any single punch. Now, that comes from the heavyweight division. These guys don't have a whole lot of cardio behind them, but when that punch coming, that's a lot of weight behind them. Yeah, these heavyweights are going to throw every punch, a bomb looking for a knockout, everything they got into every punch, which makes you more tired on top of the fact that they're heavyweights and big men. Now, don't forget tonight also to go follow us on Twitter, at Shamrock underscore FC, as we will have all kinds of information going out there, a lot of behind the scenes. You can also follow us on Snapchat, at Shamrock underscore FC. If you would like to know the latest information coming up, find us on Facebook, at Shamrock Fighting Championships. When the heavyweights come to play, it's a very can be a very very quick night. Absolutely. Generally, in 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 my in my knowledge, you know, if a heavyweight fight, a one round heavyweight fight, is always my favorite because there's always knockout. Let's bring out his opponent tonight, Tommy Thurber. Coming to the cage, it is Tommy Thurber. He is giving up quite a bit of height here to his opponent, Troy DePriest. He comes to us by way of American Jiu Jitsu here in Kansas City. Now, he is a former kickboxer who said, I went back to work on my takedown defense for this fight. He said that that was where I had my issues. So let's bring it up to our tail of the tape. As you can see, both extremely large men, Tom Thurber gives up actually has quite a bit on, almost 30 pounds here on Troy DePriest. Our tale of the tape brought to you tonight by Supplement Superstores. Now, as a smaller fighter, Tommy Thurber is definitely gonna wanna stay inside the much taller Troy DePriest. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy Thurber said he's working on his takedown defense. I don't think either guy is gonna shoot for a takedown. Both these guys told us in the pre-interviews that they are looking to stand and bang. Thurber is one of those that he told me he is going to push the pace, but he is a very, very aware of Troy DePriest and those big hands. So what he wants to do is he wants to dictate the location of where this fight is going to take place. Yeah, and that goes for most guys in the heavyweight division. Most guys are going to have a lot of knockout power in the heavyweight division, but all heavyweights need to be careful. Definitely, that is the truth. Finishing up a bit of an issue here with uh, Tommy Thurber's gloves before he gets in the cage. Now, when you come in as a heavyweight and you are still a former kickboxer, you have the ability then to throw the combos, add the leg kick, which can take away some of that power because then it's a harder time to turn the punch. Yeah, once you have the add the kicks in, that's going to change the distance of the fight. So the kicks are the legs are longer than the arms, obviously. So the kicks are gonna keep you further away from the big punches of your opponent. All right, Tommy Thurber making his way into the cage. So let's send it up to the cage to Steven Bear to get this one started. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, fighting out of the blue corner this evening, he stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighs in at 200, and 29.5 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, Troy DePriest. His opponent tonight, 
fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. He weighs in at 257.7 pounds, fighting out of Kansas City, Kansas, Tommy Thurber. Here we go, no touch of the gloves from the big boys. Now DePriest has come out with his hands very low. Oh, nice shots from there coming from DePriest. Oh, big hands though from Thurber. These boys are already swinging. DePriest has hands low and chin up. Always a bad combo as they trade hooks. Oh, that one hurt DePriest. Look at the drag down from Thurber. DePriest is just covering up. All Thurber needs to do is keep punching. DePriest is gonna have to show some defense here. He's gonna try and have to get out, gonna have to try to get out of this position. Thurber looking to roll him over here, taking side control. This is a heavy, heavy position. Now you have to carry that entire weight. Oh, he steps over into mount. Nice job, Mount. He's gonna posture up and start firing off shots. Big DePriest hands. Gives his back. Thurber has no interest in a rear naked choke. He's only punching. If DePriest can survive this onslaught, Thurber might be tired if he can make it out of this first round. Heavy, heavy pushing here coming from Thurber. Again, nice hammer fist. A, a short right. little hammer fist out of Thurber. Back to the mound. Oh, heavy positions, working the body. Oh, looking to get that under the chin, no. DePriest trying to get back to his corner, maybe try to work up and stand up the cage. This is a terrible position for DePriest as we are halfway through round one. Yeah, look for a moment that DePriest was gonna oh, try to use the, the cage. Oh, look at the shots. And a tap from strikes out of DePriest. You know that that has got to be a heavy, heavy punch coming at you to tap from strikes. He was getting nailed. The problem was DePriest wasn't defending himself. He couldn't get out of the position. He was carrying all the weight of Thurber, which outweighed him by about 30 pounds, carrying all that weight. Here we see Thurber. He is absolutely landing shots to the body. Looks around, sinks in that rear naked choke. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stops the bout. One minute and 46 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO due to strikes out of the red corner, Tommy Thurber. Tommy Thurber adds, adds another win into his record here. Big hands, there was absolutely nothing that could stop him. He definitely wore that fight on his face a little bit there with a couple of shots, but not happening. Well, as soon as Thurber hurt DePriest, Thurber went in for the kill. It took him about two minutes to get it, but Thurber was relentless in trying to get that finish. That was a very, very heavy, heavy fight. No pun intended. And we will be right back with more right here at Shamrock Fighting Championships.